Hey, what's up everyone? Drunnen here. I've done one super basic tutorial and I really have been meaning to do more, so no excuses and forget about the order. This video is my tutorial on a brand new subject, how to acquire the resources you need to change your weapon perks, specifically the resources for changing elements. Let me start off by saying this. My personal opinion is that I'm very happy that these resources are not easy to get. I don't think anyone should be able to craft their favorite god-tiered weapon in just a few days. Being able to customize our weapons to the extent that Epic is allowing us to is awesome, and I think we should work for it. So my advice is to not really try and farm for reroll resources. You'll get them naturally over time. Just play the game, and when you find a weapon you love, then maybe consider farming some of those resources. However, for those of you that need it yesterday, here's a simple guide on how to farm Reperk, Amp Up, Fire Up, and Frost Up. It costs 1200 elemental ups to change the element on a weapon, and 1000 reperk to change other perks. There is currently a repeatable event quest that rewards you with 70 element up for getting 300 kills on a specific type of element in successful missions. There is another quest that rewards you with 100 reperk for killing 50 mist monsters in successful missions. I don't know if this quest will turn into a challenge or what, but my guess is that it will probably end up being a repeatable quest for quite a while. Okay, so here's how to maximize these quests. Find a mission with one of the new mission alerts called Ice Storm, Lightning Storm, or Fire Storm, whichever element you're farming. Bonus if you can find an encampment mission with a storm matching what you're looking for. These storms essentially make all elemental husks the same element throughout the entire mission, which makes it incredibly easy to farm the repeatable quests that provide Amp Up, Frost Up, and Fire Up. First and foremost, these quests must be done in successful missions, so be sure to pick something easy like a Build the Radar, a rescue the survivors, but really you'll want to try and find an encampment mission. As with all farming rules, make sure you set your game mode on private. For your hero, I recommend playing Dragon Scourge because I think it would be hard to beat him, but any wave clearing hero should work. Find the highest level mission matching our already established parameters that you can solo easily. Bonus if you can find one that also gives you the reperk resources as a reward. Make sure to bring turrets. You should complete the objective first as fast as you can. Then, for the rest of the match, find an encampment to farm. Attack the three regular husks to spawn the encampment. Let everything congregate to a mass, then simply drag and slash through your desired elemental husks. Run or double jump away to reset the encampment, then repeat. If you also went reperk, make sure to kill as many mist monsters as you can too. That's pretty much it. I was able to kill 300 elemental husks in one of these 20 minute missions and I'm totally new to ninjas. It was only my second or third time playing Dragon Scourge. This method netted me 100 amp up in a little over 20 minutes, so I could expect to farm 1200, which would cover one reroll, in 4 to 5 hours. It is also important to note that once you complete the quest, you cannot carry the mobs over into the next quest. If you had 299 kills going into a mission, and then you kill 301 mobs during that mission, you will still only get credit for the quest one time, so make sure you complete the whole quest every mission. This is probably the most efficient way to farm the new Amp Up, Fire Up, and Frost Up, unless someone can find a better way. You should really try to do this solo because only the kills you participate in count and dragon slashing is pretty much a one shot. Like I said earlier, I think farming for these resources should be done slowly and over time, but if you feel like you have to do it, this is probably the best way currently. If anyone has found a better way, please let me know in the comments so I can test it out. Don't forget to find me streaming high-level games and viewer games at twitch.tv slash dronen. If you found this informative and useful, please consider liking and subscribing below. Thanks for watching, get out there and save the world.